Ladies and gentlemen, we have detected gravitational waves. We did it. It might surprise you, but seeing the world from up high is breathtaking and full of surprises. Now, this is quite a discovery. Fragments of a biblical scroll, along with other relics, have been found in desert caves in Israel. That's why we're going on a special trip, flying above to share 15 amazing finds that were spotted from the sky. Space dust. So, you're probably aware of how meteors can light up the night sky in a big way, right? But there's another event happening in space that's quieter, but just as interesting. Every day, Earth gets a special delivery of space dust. Unlike meteors that make a grand entrance, space dust floats down to us in a way that's too gentle for us to see. Let's look at the details. About 5,200 tons of this dust from space lands on Earth every year, that's roughly 100 tons a week, or to be even more exact, 14 tons every day. This isn't just any dust. It's made of tiny bits of rock and metal, the leftovers from when asteroids and comets bump into each other. Most of this dust comes from comets that are part of the Jupiter family, which swing by close to the sun every 20 years or so. But catching sight of this space dust with your own eyes, that's not likely to happen. These particles are so small, just a fraction of a millimeter across, that we can't see them without special equipment. However, Next time you're outside, just think about this. Tomb of Tutankhamun. For three years, Howard Carter and his team worked hard, digging until they finally opened the famous tomb of Tutankhamun. His hard work led to a discovery that left everyone speechless. He found not just one, but layers of coffins, each more incredible than the last, hiding treasures beyond what anyone could dream. At the first level, they found a coffin covered with a cloth. Under that was another shiny with gold, and it was beautiful. But the real surprise was still waiting. Carter and his team, using simple tools and a lot of patience, uncovered a third coffin made entirely of gold. This wasn't just any piece. It was art, covered with images of protective goddesses, embracing the king with symbols of his great strength. When they opened this golden coffin, they saw something that would be remembered forever. Tutankhamun himself, looking back at them from under a mask of gold and jewels. This mask, shining with gold, colored glass and precious stones, had special words written on it. These words showed how much the ancient Egyptians knew about making sure their pharaohs were safe after death. This discovery wasn't just a big deal. It was like opening a door to the past. Tutankhamun, a young king, had been waiting there even after 3,500 years. The news of this find spread all over the world, making people see Egypt in a new light. Looking at the young king's face, Carter saw the story of a ruler gone too soon. His burial place packed with riches also told a sad tale of a young life ended early. Water in Mars. Let's zoom into a story about space adventure, where NASA's Phoenix Mars lander races to Mars, faster than the quickest animals on Earth. This spacecraft, launched on August 4, 2007 from Florida, had a big goal, to dig into Mars's secrets, especially looking for water and places where life could exist. Phoenix wasn't just another space robot. After it landed in the cold part of Mars on May 25, 2008, it got right to work. It showed us that the white stuff we saw on Mars from far away was really water ice, just like the ice we have on Earth. And here's where it gets even more exciting. Phoenix didn't just spot ice, it actually tested the dirt on Mars and found water ice in it. This discovery had scientists jumping for joy because it was a huge deal, not just a simple space trip. But Phoenix didn't stop there. It became a weather station on Mars, tracking the weather and even seeing snow fall from Martian clouds. It found salts 
that might support life and signs of calcium carbonate in the ice, which suggested there might have been liquid water in the past. Why is this all so important? Think about it like solving the biggest mystery in our solar system, looking for clues about how Mars went from a place that might have supported life to the dry planet we see now. Phoenix was supposed to work for just 90 days, but it went above and beyond, giving us valuable information about Mars for five months. Even though NASA lost contact with it in 2010, the data Phoenix sent back is still helping scientists and inspiring more missions to Mars. This mechanism is advanced. In 1901, a group of sponge divers diving in the Mediterranean Sea found something incredible near Antikythera, a place known for its clear blue waters. At first, it seemed like they just found an old piece of equipment used for sailing long ago in a shipwreck. But as experts took a closer look and cleaned away the years of buildup, they realized it was no ordinary find. This tool, made about 2,000 years ago, was an amazingly advanced machine for its time. It could predict the movement of the moon and sun, even for seeing eclipses with amazing accuracy. People now call it the Antikythera mechanism, and it's considered one of the first ever computers. Its gears and wheels work together in ways that still amaze scientists today. This discovery was a game changer for archaeologists and showed them just how smart the ancient Greeks were. It proved that they knew a lot about math and the stars, much more than people had thought before. His theory turned out true. At the start of the 20th century, Albert Einstein introduced a radical idea to the world of science. He suggested that really big objects moving through space could create waves, sort of like when you throw rocks into a calm pond. Though Einstein himself later doubted anyone could actually detect these waves, called gravitational waves, they remained a big mystery in the world of physics. It took a long time, but in 2015, a big breakthrough happened. A place in the United States called the LIGO Observatory managed to catch these waves for the first time, proving Einstein right. These waves came from two black holes far away in space, spinning around each other before finally crashing together. And things got even more exciting in 2017. LIGO, working with a similar project in Europe called Virgo, picked up more of these space waves. This time, they came from two neutron stars merging together. What made this extra special was that scientists could not only feel these waves through space, but also see the event happening with telescopes. This was a first in astronomy. Watching this event helped scientists understand better how gravity works and how some of the precious metals like gold and silver are made in space. The Iceman. Back on September 19, 1991, some hikers were walking in the Ötztal Alps, not knowing they were about to make a huge discovery under the ice of the Similan Glacier. They found a very old human body, perfectly preserved by the ice. This was Ötzi the Iceman, a real-life time traveler from thousands of years ago. Ötzi wasn't just an old body. He was like a book from the past, telling us stories about how people back then lived. Scientists looking into his life found out he ate a lot of rough grains, showing us what kind of food was common at that time. They even found smoke particles in his lungs, which tells us he was around a lot of fires, maybe for warmth or cooking. But there was more to Ötzi than just his diet or the air he breathed. The things found with him, like a copper axe, a long bow made of yew wood, and a bunch of arrows, paint a picture of a man who knew how to live in the wild. These items were not just belongings, they were part of his survival kit. At first, people thought Ötzi might have died because of an accident or the cold. But later on, scientists found an arrowhead in his shoulder, suggesting he met a violent end. This clue gave a twist to his story, showing that his last moments might have been filled with conflict. Ötzi, who walked the Alps more than 5,000 years ago, is a window into our past, 
giving us a peek at how our ancestors lived, what they ate, and the challenges they faced. An old city called Petra. In the middle of the desert, there's an old city called Petra that shows just how smart and creative the Nabataean people were. They built this city right into the cliffs, turning a dry, tough place into a green, welcoming spot. It's amazing how they worked with the environment instead of fighting it. Petra was more than just a place to live. It was a standout example of making the impossible possible. The people there were experts at collecting rainwater, which turned the desert into a place where plants could grow and people could thrive. Petra became a buzzing center because of this, drawing in folks from all around with its beauty and liveliness. It was like a cultural crossroads where different traditions and styles from Egypt, Syria, Greece and Rome all mixed together. But as time went on and new trading paths were found, Petra started to lose its spark. The bustling streets grew quiet and the city was eventually left alone, its grandeur fading away. Now, what's left of Petra still stands strong, showing off the incredible things humans can do. Thousands of exoplanets discovered. The 2010S really took our understanding of far-off planets to another level, all thanks to the incredible work of NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. Starting its journey in 2009 and finishing in 2018, Kepler discovered over 2,700 planets outside our solar system, making up more than half of the exoplanets we know about today. It even found the very first confirmed rocky planet like Earth out there. But the adventure didn't stop with Kepler. In 2018, TESS, Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, took the baton and zoomed into the cosmic race. Right from the start, TESS began scanning the heavens, quickly finding 34 confirmed exoplanets and aiming to keep up the momentum set by Kepler. But let's also talk about the exciting discoveries right in our cosmic backyard. In 2017, everyone was talking about the TRAPPIST-1 system, which is not too far from us, only 39 light years away. This cool space spot has seven planets that are about the same size as Earth, a record for the most planets like ours found around any star other than the Sun. Then in 2016, there was big news from the Pale Red Dot campaign, which found Proxima b, an Earth-sized planet circling Proxima Centauri, the star closest to us, just 4.25 light years away. All these new finds didn't just add to our list of known planets, they sparked even more interest in what's out there in the vast, unknown parts of space. Sea People Around 1200 BC, something huge happened that shook the ancient world, leaving only Egypt standing strong, while other places faced terrible destruction. This event sent what's now Greece into a period often called the Dark Ages, turning what were once booming civilizations into small, scattered communities. For a long time, no one really knew why these societies collapsed so suddenly. The big clue came when experts finally figured out how to read ancient Egyptian writing. These old texts from the one place that made it through the chaos mentioned a group called the Sea People. The stories made them sound almost like characters from a legend, with tales of huge, fierce warriors coming from the sea to destroy cities. Even with these stories, we're still not sure why the Sea People attacked. This mystery has kept scholars busy, leading to many debates and theories. There's a mix of evidence, like art and writings from back then, that points to a huge fight. But people studying the past can't quite agree. Some think we should be careful not to let our imaginations run too wild about these events. Despite the doubts, the search to figure out more about the Sea People continues. Experts are digging through history, trying to separate the myths from what actually happened. The story of the Sea People, with all its secrets and drama, shows just how much effort we put into understanding our history and finding out the truth about what happened long ago. 
the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is a massive structure running over 13,000 miles long. Imagine a wall so long it could stretch from New York all the way to Sydney. It all started back in the 7th century BC as a way to protect the country from northern attacks. Over centuries, especially up to the Ming Dynasty, it was built up to what it is today. They used all sorts of materials to build it, like brick, stone, compacted earth and wood, depending on what was available in different parts. What's truly amazing is that it was all built by hand. No modern tools, just people using their own strength to put it together. Now it's not just a piece of history, it's a must-see for people from all around the world. Traveling along the Great Wall, you get to see the diverse landscapes of China and feel a real link to the past. Qumran Caves of the Judean Desert Many people know about old stories and secrets from the past, hidden for a long time. So let's chat about the Dead Sea Scrolls. These are really important old writings found from 1946 to 1956. They changed how we understand Jewish religious ideas from the first few centuries. These scrolls were discovered in caves in a desert, holding some of the oldest writings that are important for different religious books. But let's keep on track. Finding these old scrolls isn't just about being excited about an old discovery, it's like looking through a window back in time. These writings, some very old, tell us stories and lessons that have influenced many beliefs and studies for a long time. Then, in March 2021, more pieces of these writings were found in a place called the Cave of Horror, which also had some very old human bones. These new finds are part of a set of religious writings and show some differences from what many people know today. Why are these new pieces interesting? They were written in Greek, which was the main language in that area after a famous conqueror took over. But even in these Greek writings, the special name for God is still in Hebrew, showing that some things stay important over time. The Dead Sea Scrolls are still very important for people who study history and for those who follow these religions. Every piece of writing, every line from the past is trying to share its knowledge and wisdom with us. Ancient Nuclear Reactor Back in 1972, scientists found something amazing in a mine in Gabon, Central Africa. This place, called Oklo, was the site of a natural nuclear reactor that's about 1.8 billion years old. This discovery really shook up the world of science. So, what's the deal with the Oklo reactor? Well, some scientists were digging around for uranium. That's a super important material used for nuclear energy. Normally, uranium has a tiny bit of something called uranium-235. But in Oklo, they noticed a lot of this uranium-235 was missing from the ground. It was as if someone or something had taken it away. At first, people were worried. They thought maybe someone had stolen over 200 kilograms of uranium-235. But the real story was even more incredible. Right there, near the mine, all the right conditions came together billions of years ago for a natural nuclear reactor to start up. We're talking about the right mix of uranium, water moving through the ground, and the ground being just stable enough. It's like nature pulled off a scientific miracle without even trying way back in time. Now here comes an even wilder part. Some people started to wonder if this whole setup was too perfect, too precise to be just a happy accident. The idea is that maybe this perfect natural reactor wasn't natural after all, but created by humans from the future. This wild speculation turns the Oklo reactor story into a mix of solid science and wild imagination. Angkor Wat Temple Now let's not get lost in the trees. The big deal here isn't just how they did it, but what they found. The LIDAR data showed not just one or two old places, but a huge network of ancient city temples, all part of the great Khmer Empire. This find changed how we see Southeast Asia's past. Underneath the tree cover, there was a whole empire's way of life waiting to be found again. 
This discovery is like a bridge back in time, letting us see and understand how people lived in the Khmer Empire's golden days in the 12th century. So why is this important? Uncovering these old cities helps us put together the story of a powerful civilization. It's like digging up a legend, giving us hints not just about how great this empire was, but maybe why it eventually disappeared. Using LiDAR and a lot of curiosity, these scientists are doing more than just finding old ruins. They're bringing back to life the stories and voices of the past. This effort to understand the rise and fall of the Khmer Empire is a deep dive into human creativity and survival. Lascaux Cave Paintings Step into the heart of southwestern France and you'll find a prehistoric wonder that's been leaving people in awe for ages. The Lascaux Cave This place is no ordinary cave. It's a treasure trove of ancient creativity, home to some of the earliest and most detailed paintings our ancestors left behind. Imagine walls filled with paintings over 17,000 years old, featuring horses, deer, bulls and bears, alongside vivid scenes of hunting and fishing that seem to bring the stone walls to life. But let's pause for a moment and think about the mystery here. How did they do it? How did people back then, with only simple tools at their disposal, manage to create such detailed and meaningful art? They looked to nature for answers, using animal bones for engraving, charcoal for drawing outlines, and a mix of natural pigments made from crushed rocks and minerals. They turned their ideas into reality. What we see through their art gives us a glimpse into their everyday lives and how closely they were connected to the world around them. It's more than just art. It's a story carved into rock showing the creativity and strength of early humans as they made their way through a world that was as tough as it was full of wonder. Machu Picchu. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard about Machu Picchu. It's this super old city tucked away in the Andes Mountains, kind of like a ghost town from ancient times. People often call it the lost city of the Incas, because it managed to stay hidden from the Spanish invaders back in the 1500s. Can you believe that? Despite all the stories floating around about it, nobody really knew where it was or what secrets it held until 1911. So get this, there's this guy named Hiram Bingham, an American historian who basically stumbled upon Machu Picchu while he was exploring the area. It's like finding treasure in your own backyard. His discovery blew everyone's minds, and suddenly, this hidden gem became famous worldwide. But here's the thing that really gets me. Machu Picchu isn't just some old ruins. Nope, it's a masterpiece of ancient building skills. The way those Incas put those huge rocks together without any mortar? Mind-blowing. I mean, how on earth did they do it with the tools they had back then? And it gets even crazier. Ever since Machu Picchu was rediscovered, people have been going nuts over it. There are all sorts of theories flying around, like maybe aliens helped build it or something. It's like a magnet for mystery lovers and history buffs. In fact, it was even voted one of the new seven wonders of the world in 2007. I'm really keen to know what you think about these incredible finds. Let's not stop looking up because who knows what else we might discover up there in the wide open sky.